The Library, written by Sarah Stewart. The Library. As I read this book to you, pay close attention to the main character. What do you see her doing? The Library, written by Sarah Stewart, pictures by David Small. To the memory of the real Mary Elizabeth Brown, librarian, reader, friend, 1920 to 1991. Elizabeth Brown entered the world, dropping straight down from the sky. Elizabeth Brown entered the world, skinny, nearsighted, and shy. She didn't like to play with dolls. She didn't like to skate. She learned to read quite early, at an incredible rate. Elizabeth Brown learned to read so quickly, it was incredible, or hard to believe. It was unbelievable. Look at the baby in the cradle. What does this tell you about Elizabeth Brown? She always took a book to bed with a flashlight under the sheet. She'd make a tent of covers and read herself to sleep. Elizabeth Brown went off to school, dragging a steamer trunk. Elizabeth Brown unpacked her books, breaking the upper bunk. She sat in all her classes and doodled on a pad adrift in dreams of entering a reader's olympiad. She manufactured library cards and checked out books to friends, then shocked them with her midnight raids to collect the books again. Stop and think. The Olympics is a contest for the best athletes in the world. What do you think a reader's olympiad might be? Manufactured means made. Elizabeth Brown made library cards for other people. Why do you think she made library cards for them? Elizabeth Brown preferred a book to going out on a date. While her friends went out and danced till dawn, she stayed up reading late. She took the train one afternoon and promptly lost her way, so bought a house and settled down to tutoring for pay. Elizabeth Brown walked into town, summer, fall, winter, and spring. Elizabeth Brown walked into town looking for only one thing. She didn't want potato chips. She didn't want new clothes. She went straight to the bookstore. May I have one of those? Stop and think. What questions do you have about Elizabeth Brown? Turn and tell someone what questions you have about her? What do you want to know? What are you curious about? Elizabeth Brown walked right back home and read and read and read. She even read while exercising and standing on her head. She made a list of groceries and tucked it in her book, then lost the list among the fruits and left with nothing to cook. She read about Greek goddesses while vacuuming the floor. Attending only to her book, she'd walk into a door. Stop and think. Look carefully at the books in her house. What do you see happening? What do you think about that? Would your family allow you to do that? Books were piled on top of chairs and spread across the floor. Her shelves began to fall apart as she read more and more. Big books made very solid stacks on which teacups could rest. Small books became the building blocks for busy little guests. When volumes climbed the parlor walls and blocked the big front door, she had to face the awful fact she could not have one more. Stop and think. Finally, Elizabeth Brown had to understand that she just couldn't have any more books. What problems does she have with all of these books? How might this problem get worse? How is this problem impacting her life? Elizabeth Brown walked into town that very afternoon. Elizabeth Brown walked into town whistling a happy tune. She didn't want a bicycle, she didn't want silk bows. She went straight to the courthouse, 
May I have one of those? The form was for donations. She quickly wrote this line. I, E, Brown, give to the town all that was ever mine. As you can see here, she is donating her house. Her house became Elizabeth Brown Free Library. Stop and think. Elizabeth Brown's books finally caused her a big problem. What do you think about the way she solved her problem? Was that the best way to solve her problem? What are your thoughts? Tell someone sitting close to you. Elizabeth Brown moved in with a friend and lived to a ripe old age. They walked to the library day after day and turned page after page after page. The end. Stop and think. How did Elizabeth Brown's love of books help her community at the end of this story? Today, in your reader's notebook, you're going to be writing an opinion essay about Elizabeth Brown's decision to donate all her books and her home. When you express your opinion, you need to provide at least three reasons to support your thinking. Add a drawing and color it neatly and post your opinion essay and your drawings to Seesaw for your teacher to see.